can see there, folks, busy fighting off a pipe worm infestation. We've had a real big issue ever since we made a port call at Uranus. How are y'all doing today? My name is Earl. This here is Pearl. Now, we're here to give you a friendly little PSA on some of the tools of the trade. We're from the Intergalactic Septic Service, also known as the ISS. We're going to inform you on some of the basic tools you might need to respond to septic situations in space. To start, we're going to show you this here space plunger. Top of the line space plunger. All right, acrylic handles, nice and lightweight. Super suctionable rubber tips. $25,000. Best plunger you can possibly get. Secondly, and don't forget, you're going to want to get yourself a nice monkey wrench. Now, this monkey wrench comes in real handy for a number of reasons, but mostly as a hammer. Another really helpful tool that you're going to find yourself using a lot on the job is a nice good pair of kitchen shears. And you're going to need to cut yourself out of some real hairy situations, and you can trust me on that. Now, for other jobs where biological entities are involved, such as Pearl here, uh, in case you haven't noticed, my little chest lobster. Pearl is a xenomorph that didn't quite emerge from her shell. Uh, you see these uh, xenomorphs, they kind of grow like goldfish and grow into their environments. Well, due to my high caloric intake, Pearl inherited a metabolism similar to a tree. She really doesn't grow that fast and go that far. But she does come in real handy helping you snake some drains. But, back to the tools. For extreme situations such as pipe worms, you're going to want to get yourself something a little heavier duty. Go ahead and get yourself a space pistol so you can treat these situations with extreme prejudice. Y'all take care of it and be safe out there. And remember, respond immediately to any and all septic situations because if you don't, it could be considered a war crime. Have a good day.